I have just made the repository for my Unity Editor extension, World Creator Assistant Public. World Creator Assistant allows you to automate the initialization of new VRChat world projects with the help of projects set up wizard, and WCA also has an importer and resources that you can use after the project is up and running. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started using World Creator Assistant. So let's get started. First, you want to go to github.com slash varnian slash world creator assistant. Go to the bottom of the page to the how to get started section, download the latest Unity package, and we are ready for the next step. I'm going to create a new Unity project using Unity Hub and wait for the editor window to open up. Now that we have the empty Unity editor window in front of us, let's import WCA into our project. As you can see, the import process is really quick due to the low file size of less than 70 kilobytes. So our productivity is definitely not being held back by the usage of WCA. Time is money. Navigate to your toolbar, Varnian, World Creator Assistant. WCA automatically detects that we don't have a VRC SDK in this project. So it's opening the project setup wizard for initializing the project. Here you can select which variant of the VRC SDK you want to download. And you also have links to official documentation if you don't know which one to choose. Next, you have additional options for setting up your project. This page will have more options in the future. Next, you can import packages using Unity Package Manager. And this is one of the biggest advantages of using World Creator Assistant, automated GitHub repository import. Before you can use GitHub importer, you have to assign a directory for the package cache where the latest versions of the repositories are stored for use in other Unity projects. Make sure that the directory you're assigning is not under any of the other Unity Projects folders, since the cache is shared by all of your other projects that use World Creator Assistant. The best place for the cache is at the root of your VRChat World Projects folder, if you have one. Now we have access to the GitHub importer, and we can select the repositories we want to import to our project. Last but not least, you can import any packages you have downloaded from the Unity Asset Store. Now that we're done configuring our project, let's hit continue and we have a chance to review our options for the final time. Everything looks good and I'm going to hit continue again, which starts the project initialization. Now is a good time to go grab a cup of coffee while we wait for the world creator system to do its thing and we can come back in around five to 10 minutes. As you can see, everything has been imported successfully. The Archive physics layers have been set up, automatic light map generation is turned off, and we are ready to start creating worlds. Now you also have access to the full WCA window with importer, resources, etc. If you want to update your VRC SDK or any of the repositories, just hit check for updates and WCA will tell you if there are new versions available. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you want to try out World Creator Assistant yourself, link to the GitHub page is in the description.